Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to cut through objects in Roblox Studio. Now, this is helpful to be able to cut through parts so that you can create models uh, for things that your player can either look through or walk through. Let's get started. So, uh, you want to have Roblox Studio open, and you first want to insert two parts. So, the first part is going to be uh, the part that you're going to cut through. So let's make a uh, maybe a tunnel. And what I'm going to do is just create a block first. And then you can see the block that I've got there. Make it a little longer. And now next I'm going to create another part because I want to cut through this part so that the player can walk through it like a tunnel. So next we're going to add, let's say, a cylinder. So now I've got a cylinder. And I'm going to scale it so that it's large enough for the player to walk through. And then I also need to rotate it so that it's going the right direction. Okay. And once I have it uh, close to what I'd like, um, then um, I want to point out one thing. So what I need to do is make this cylinder go through that block. And uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that your collisions are turned off. So if, uh, you want to make sure it's turned off. And then same with this part, you want to make sure collisions is turned off. Okay, so now uh, whenever I try to move this, you'll notice if you're trying to move with the mouse, it's hard to get it to go through the other object. See, as you can see, it sometimes goes around it. It doesn't quite go where I want it to go. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is position it where you like it. And then you can try this move arrow. That would work better. Um, so that can move through. What I'm going to do actually is going to click on scale and then just scale it right through. And then I'm going to show you that it's going right through the other object. Okay, so now I've got it through uh, the block. Okay. All right, and so the next thing I need to do is click on that part that you want to create the uh, negative space. And you're going to go click up to model, and then you're going to click negate. So what that does is makes it a negative version of that part. So the next thing you need to do is select both parts. You can drag both of them or just select both of them on the uh, workspace in the Explorer. And then under model, you want to click union. And then now you can see a hole was uh, created. And sometimes when you're doing this, you won't actually see the hole until you do the gameplay. Okay, so let's say uh, I wanted to um, go ahead and play this game so you can see the hole that was cut through there. I would just go up to home and then play. So when I play the game, you can see that the hole is there and I can run through it with my uh, player. Okay, now a couple of things uh, I did not uh, point out is that, so you've got this model um, that you just created basically when you were working with the two parts. Now you wanna make sure that uh, when you select that part on the properties tab on the right hand side, you wanna make sure that it is anchored. Okay, and so that'll keep the part in place. So now that you have combined these two parts into a model, if you ever want to change it or separate it, what you need to do is uh, click uh, select it. So there's the thing and you can rename this whatever you would like. Um, I'll just keep it as union for now. So once you've selected it, go up to model, and then you need to click separate. And then now I can see both parts again. So let's say that this wasn't quite uh, large enough, uh, then I can click on that part the um, the negative part and then click on scale and now I can make it a little bigger so that I can go through uh, a larger hole there okay and let's say uh, I wanted to let me just show you when those two parts are there like that and I just press play and they're not as a model you'll notice something so you'll notice that it doesn't cut the hole you see that they need to be uh, you, you, a, a union of two parts in there. And again, you want to uh, have both of them anchored, otherwise uh, your model might fall apart. Okay, uh, so that's the main thing. So that's how you can do a tunnel. So another example to show you how this works is, let's say you're building a house and you wanted a window in a wall. So an easy way to do this would be to just uh, add two blocks and then go ahead and scale the blocks. So here's the first block, so there's the wall. And then I'm going to add another block and once I have that block where I would like it, now I can make this block the window. And I'm 
going to scale that one to the size of a window. And then the same thing you'll notice if I try to move it, it doesn't quite work. Uh, I'm going to scale it so it's a nice large block. And then once you have it like this, you could do it um, where you just move that larger block through. So again, you can see I just moved it through uh, the, the wall. Okay. And then again, you're going to have the, you're going to select the block where you want the open space. And then you're going to go up to model and then click on negate. And so now that's going to give you that space in between. And then you're going to click on both of them. And you can do click on the one, control, and then click on the other one. That'll click both. Or you can click on both parts on the uh, workspace. And then you're going to click on union. And then there's the window. Okay. And again, you want to make sure that uh, when you go down, once you've got that uh, model created, you want to go down to the bar properties and click on anchored so that that way uh, the model stays together and stays where you would like it. Now you can move the model, the you know, whichever way you want. If you want to duplicate the model, you can. Uh, Control D duplicates. So I just made another model. So you can do a lot of different things with the union and the gate uh, functions in uh, Roblox Studio. This is also useful if you wanted to create angles on blocks uh, or uh, uniting any uh, different parts together so that you can uh, cut through another part. So you now know how to cut through or join objects together and create a model. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.